Well, shit. <laughs> My name is Stephanie Brown and you're watching Creative Guzzle. Tonight's drink is a Cloverfield cocktail. I'm actually kind of happy this one worked out because when I looked at the recipe for it, I had all the ingredients already. Win! Although I was kind of hoping there would be more drink to the drink. Ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting flavor. As always, if you want the recipe for this drink, there'll be a link down below in the doobly-doo. Otherwise, you can click this little info button right up here. Although I'd recommend maybe doubling the recipe. So if you haven't guessed already, tonight we're talking about kaiju movies. This is because 10 Cloverfield Lane is coming out this weekend, and I am super stoked for it. I actually really like the first Cloverfield movie. I also find it interesting that this movie was made without anybody knowing about it until the first trailer dropped on the internet, surprising everyone. Kind of like how everyone would be surprised if a kaiju actually did show up and destroy the world. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh. Of course, we can't properly discuss kaiju movies without talking about the original kaiju, Godzilla. Or more properly, Gojira. Aside from the embarrassing 1998 film starring Matthew Broderick and the more recent 2014 one that I found... Uh, a little disappointing. I hadn't actually seen any of the original Godzilla movies until this past weekend. But I do my research. Side note, I couldn't help but notice that the main theme music was super similar to what was playing during the end credits of Cloverfield. JJ, I see what you did there. Uh oh, my drink is gone. Uh, I know. Maybe you're right back. How about some sake since we're talking about Japan anyway? Come bye! Maybe it's a lot. Almost all of the major kaiju movies will tie back to Japan in some manner. In fact, <coughs> the word kaiju actually means monster in Japanese, although the more literal translation is strange beast. But all of the Godzilla movies, the sequels, the reboots, the American remakes, they all show Godzilla originating from Japan. <coughs> I'm okay. Uh. Oh, I can't take a shot of it. It's really hot. Some other movies are a little more subtle about tying Japan into it. Pacific Rim, for example, while never directly featuring Japan as a location except in flashbacks, actually calls the monsters kaiju. And also features a badass female protagonist who also happens to be Japanese. The first Cloverfield is a little more subtle about it, but it still threads Japan into the story in a way. Rob, the main character, was having a going away party before shit went down because he was about to move to Japan for a job. Actually, the last time I watched Cloverfield, I had a little chuckle over this exchange. Oh, it's a great opportunity for Yeah, but I don't even speak the language. Oh, come on. How hard can it be? It's Japanese. It's Japanese hard. <laughs> It's so true. Other than the subtle or not so subtle Japanese origins, kaiju movies also share some of these other common tropes. A bazillion explosions and mass destruction. There will probably be helicopter swatting. <laughs> If there's more than one monster, there will probably be monster wrestling. There might be kaiju babies or monster parasites. And let's not forget the monstrously heavy footfalls that will cause the entire ground to shake. Shake it, baby, baby. baby. Of course, more important than the monsters are the humans that occupy the world the kaiju are destroying. I mean, while watching kaiju destroy everything in sight can be fun, it can get very boring after a while unless there's an actual story. You know, like with characters and a plot and stakes. I mean, even if you want the kaiju to win in the end, you gotta give the audience a reason to root for the kaiju. Like, make your characters assholes or something. That's why Pacific Rim is actually about the humans driving the Jaeger suits, or why Cloverfield is actually about Rob and his friends trying to save the love of his life. Now you might be wondering, if I like kaiju movies so much, do I have an idea for a kaiju movie rampaging around in my brain? No, it is not out of the realm of possibility that it might happen, but right now the only thing that I have that's even close is I have a couple of kaiju-sized demons in my demonic apocalypse story, The End. That's basically it. Konnichiwa, Leviathan and Bohemoth. So what are some of your favorite kaiju monsters? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. You can check out more videos by clicking right over here. And also please don't forget to subscribe because I believe that everybody has a story to tell. I want to tell you mine and I want to help you tell yours. Stay excellent to each other.